here we go with a really really quick tip video um, short and sweet basically I wanted to show this Micron archival ink pen um, if I bring it into focus there it's um, something that I bought off eBay it's waterproof fade proof um, and this particular one is 0 0.2 millimeter line so it's very fine um, can't actually see who makes it there. AP, ACMI. I think they're sort of Japanese potentially. Um, obviously, all written in various different languages around the edge there. Yeah, they are Japanese, and um, it's got a very fine nib. So I shall show you here. That's the 0 0.2 millimeter nib. Fantastic for sort of panel lining work. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light on the subject here, actually. There we go. And um, I'll just very quickly show you the kind of thing you can do with this. This is an old model of mine which is pre-painted. Um, however, if I come in with this uh, pen, you can see, if I now go quiet while I do it so I'm not shaking, how you can very quickly darken an area. Obviously it's a little bit shiny, but uh, I would normally dull coat this after the event. Um, you need to take a lot more care when you're doing these sort of more prominent areas. So here we go. Oh, slipped up. And you can see there I have slipped up. Now I could smear that with my finger now and get rid of it, or you could cover it up later on. So it's the kind of thing you have to be careful and look out for. Obviously it's not so easy for me because I've got a camera in between me and the subject here. But I can go around various different areas like that taking care to panel line it's not everybody's favorite uh, final technique actually and in many ways the, um, the quality of a mech can look quite good without having every single individual tiny area uh, panel lined but you may wish to do the darker recesses or little areas like this to sort of bring them out and I'm going to attempt this I'm going to go silent while I do this because this is going to be a tricky patch So there you go. Obviously, under close scrutiny, it's quite of a stark uh, shadow. When you're much further away, um, I'll just have to change the focus on this just to show you. Can run away. There we go. And you're looking at the figure on a tabletop. It's going to look a lot more uh, um, realistic at a distance, really, and show you that stark uh, separation between the panels, which. Um, is to some people's taste. Okay, so one other thing I'll show you on here, which I attempted on a Google Hangout last night but failed. I'll bring it back into the close view and refocus. What we can do here is show you the weathering from Tamiya. It's uh, Tamiya Weathering Master and it comes in this sort of um, makeup like kit once you've popped it open which I'll do now whoa. you can see inside that it does look like a sort of a ladies compact makeup kit and you even get a little spongy uh, and brush end to use so the colors in this set are burnt blue, burnt red and oil stain I'm going to try that oil stain so all you do is gather some of that onto the end of this foamy tip. I've already actually put some on this model before. Try not to get too much shadow over it while I do it. But say if I wanted some oil stain along there, perhaps down the lower leg, you can see it's not exactly subtle. You just sort of, well, actually, the result is subtle, but while you're brushing on you're not going in you're not worrying about getting into every sort of nook and cranny so now after doing that you can see very very slightly that it's got a, a sort of a smeared dull matte look to it now you can layer that on so you can add more to it to give it a, a, a more of a weathered look and you can see 
I have actually put them on here up around this top section in the past I've used a sort of a brown which has gone into the edges to give it a dusty look if I move this mech all the way around you can see some actually on his arm I've done there before too so it's just a quick effective way of adding detail to a small miniature that uh, you're not um, spending hours doing subtle dry brushing you know you just sponge it on and you're away okay video over that was a couple of short tips